And don't be surprised if your child comes home from school talking about sweet potato pizza. That is if they know what they're eating. As Cynthia Newsom showcases, there's a big uh, initiative in town to figure out what's healthier for our summer lunches. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Krista. I want to I want you to take a look. These are some of the sample items from this new healthy, nutritious menu that people are coming here to select from school cafeterias across the country. Let me show you this. It's called Bean Itos. It's actually made from beans, chips made from beans. And look at this, pearl organic soy milk. And how about this, actual blended fruit called buddy fruits. Now, when I was a kid, there was nothing on the lunch line like this, but times are changing. In fact, they already have. Some 6,000 school cafeteria managers and nutritionists from across the country are all here at Bartle Hall deciding which healthy choices they will pick for their school menus. Now, they are under government orders to add more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Now, opinions from experts are one thing, but moms know what their kids will and will not eat. So, Kelly Snyder, who is with KCMoms.com, or KansasCityMoms.com, was actually allowed in to sample some of these items. We got to taste chips today from Frito-Lay that were all whole grain that you can't even find in the stores. We're tasting cereals today that were all whole grains from Kellogg's that you can't find in the stores. So in many cases, the cereal and chips that your kids are getting in school is actually better than what you're able to get in the store. Now, while Kelly was talking, I actually sampled one of these Bean Eatos chips. Not bad, they taste really pretty good. One thing that the experts here are saying is they're asking parents right now to begin adding more nutritious foods to their, for their children so that when the children get to school, they'll be more inclined to select some of these new healthy options they're going to have this coming fall. Reporting live at Bartle Hall, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.